Who hurt you? I think your comment is annoying. Hey all y'all and welcome back to my channel. But in this video, we are going to be discussing or reading more hate comments. Honestly, what's great about reading hate comments is, I said this before in my first installment of this, if you have not seen that one, leave it linked down below. There are some some beautiful gems of the English language being butchered. But what's great is like, if I had been the me a couple years ago, I would have gotten a hate comment and I would have been like, Ugh. Now whenever I get one, it's actually anytime I've been around my friends and I get one or my family, I'm like, ooh, screenshot! Because I get excited because I'm like, this is going to be so great for my reading hate comments videos. So we have got a plethora of opinions that I love how like the main opinions that like <laughs> that has come across is that my voice and my tone are annoying. I do not feel the need to apologize as it is my voice. But if y'all felt the need to comment, I guess you're entitled to your own opinion too. But I get my laptop right here because I, I, I can't read it on my phone because that's what I use to film. And we're just going to go through these one by one. I will read them and then I will commentate. Starting off real strong with stupid C word. Who who hurt you? This is a terrible palette, but also you are extremely obnoxious to look at in here. It's a double whammy of awful. It's been made a triple whammy of awful because you felt the need to take time out of your day to post something so hateful. I don't comment much, but why are you talking like that? Because it's my voice. I understand I can get very animated, but I don't see no one commenting, asking Jeffree Star why he talks like that, but everyone flocks to my videos and take object about how the words come out of my face. Your review is decentent. D-E-C-E-N-T-E-N-T. Y'all -E 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 can come for me when y'all grasp the finer aspects of the English language. Why do you seem to be yelling talking the entire video? Space! Explanation point, explanation point, explanation point. I know it's a rant, but this was hard to watch due to your voice volume. I understand I can get very loud sometimes, but there is a very, very, let me, let me let you in on a little secret. A very simple way to not have to deal with that no more, and that's called clicking out of the video. Only annoying, your option is like an a-hole. I'm guessing they meant to say opinion, and I'm guessing they meant to say certain expletive, but they didn't because they do not know how to do the, the typing. Good video, annoying AF voice. I guess this was kind of a double-edged sword where they're like, great video, you did a good job, but we hate your voice. I'm like, I mean, well, I mean, I, I don't understand hate on a whole anyway. Hate is just pointless. I don't have time to have regret or hate or negativity. I'm just like, I, I don't have enough time and I don't need the stress. But whenever people hate on things that are like, oh, your nose is stupid, your, your voice is annoying, it's like, I'm sorry? I think your comment is annoying. Head inside over a palette? You're very unfortunate looking for starters. I thought you were a man. Now as someone who really tries very hard for the androgynous aesthetic, thank you. I actually take that as a compliment because I love blurring the lines between feminine and masculine. Once again, just going at someone for like, you are very unfortunate looking. It's like, well, I at least, if, you know, I may be ugly on the outside, but, you know, you, you've got a very unfortunate attitude that you felt like you needed to take time out of your day to comment that. Like, that's where I feel a little bit vindicated. I'm like, they're the ones 
who lose in this situation because I never, aside from this, aside from reading them here, I do not engage. I don't comment. I don't dislike. I just, I do not give them the attention they are craving because they did not receive enough love as a child. And so they're the people taking time out of their day to literally write on my video and I'm just like, no, why, 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 why? just walk away, just click out. It's that easy. Reformulate your dang attitude and give it a chance. Dang, your attitude sucks. And if we're talking honestly, Sue, does yours? Are you screaming? You try too much. I don't scream. I'm very loud. I do have a higher volume for two reasons. One, I'm just, I'm loud. I'm obnoxious. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. I have come to terms with that internally. And also, I have my phone. I do not have a microphone. It does not have the best audio, and I need to be able to be heard so that I can make the videos. I loved my mystery box. If I was going to be picky about what I wanted to order, I wouldn't have ordered a mystery box. Honey, stop ordering mystery boxes. I regret clicking. Smiley face! Okay. I mean, that's your opinion, sweetheart. That's just like, I'm sorry. It's just like, it's just, I don't understand. OMG, I can't last any longer than a minute with how she talk. Lol, I'm out. Like to preface this with saying, there is absolutely no punctuation. I have a hard time even giving, you know, any kind of credibility to someone that literally can't use. I'm not, I'm not a grammar Nazi. I'm not all that. But as a writer, <laughs> it matters to me. So if you can, if you can execute your whatever fluently and beautiful with proper punctuation and uppercase and lowercase, then I might respect you a little bit more. But until then, nada. Ew, this lady looks horrible. Barf face. I admit, in that particular video they commented on, was not looking my best. I didn't think I looked horrible. The way I like to think about it is a hate comment is someone taking their insecurities and projecting them outwardly. So I am so sorry, sweetheart. If you need, if you, if you need a shoulder to cry on, an ear to listen, I got you. This one I just thought was really funny. I don't think this is a hate comment, but I wanted to comment on it. One day, years from now, you're going to wonder about what period in your life where you felt the need for such a shiny nose. No. No, I won't. Years from now, my nose will be a beacon of highlight that will bring evidence of life in outer space to earth. That is my calling. Does this chick actually talk like this? Why did this pop up in my recommendations? I couldn't make two minutes with her voice. At least this one had proper punctuation, so we can, we can be grateful for the little things. I mean, and it's like, I feel like it's always funny because I'm like, they're blaming me for them clicking on the video. I'm like, no one, no one, no one forced your hand, sweetheart. No one put a gun to your head. I can't watch more than 40 seconds due to the bad acting slash comedy. I'm not really acting. I mean, I put the camera on and I'm just kind of me into the camera talking about things. I mean, if you don't like my humor, I can't do anything for you, honey. And this isn't so much of a hate comment as it is just something that I get pretty regularly, and that is, are you trans? I'm okay with people asking this so long as they ask it in a polite manner. I've had had people ask it in a very non-polite manner. I am not due to my features. I do tend to skew a bit more masculine at times, but no, I am not. Y'all sit down. This is a good one. Are you seriously wearing makeup like that? You look like a walking staph infection with double pink eye and your voice nails on a chalkboard clashes with the outfit intended for a 20 year old. First off, I'm aware of whatever the dingity dang dang that I want. I mean, that is real fighting words. That's like a throwdown. I mean, 
The internet is such an amazing place. You can find so much information. You can, you know, find yourself platforms to express yourself, but it also grants a certain amount of anonymity. That's probably not how you say it. And so people feel like they're like, okay, well, I'm not, you know, actually face to face with this person. I'll just say whatever the friggity frack I want. And once again, I'm like, I don't care. You lose in this situation. You took at least 30 seconds out of your life to make that comment that I absolutely don't care about. Like, I'm sorry, it sounds like a you problem. Your voice is insufferable. A grating mix of glitter forever and a banshee. I do take some object of being compared to glitter forever because she, she is not one of my favorite people. Banshee, I don't mind so much because I'm all down with that dark mythological aesthetic, so I'm okay with that. And is this girl's voice for real? Cause I can't get through, spelled T-H-R-E-W. The first five mins, cause it's worse than nails on a chalkboard. Are you for real? Because apparently you skipped a lot of English classes. Not gonna subscribe, overreacting to everything. I feel like whenever people tell me they're unsubscribing or they're not subscribing. I feel like that retail worker, whenever a customer is like, I'm never gonna shop here again. Just sitting there like, uh, okay, bye. I got out of the first 30 seconds. Dang, that voice is annoying. Like I said, we've got a general consensus here that the way that my vocal cords choose to produce the vibrations that make my voice is annoying. I I can take that to my grave with me. This is kind of funny for <laughs> for all of my like in the know subscribers. First time on this channel, first contact with this lady, freaking tuberculosis cough, disliked and out of here. Now, I do do the cough thing and I do the cough thing for two reasons. Number one being when I get excited and I do project a lot, that's just, it's just how I am as a person. When I get excited and I'm projecting, sometimes basically my throat will get so excited. It's like, now I need to cough. And then the other part is I was filming while I was getting over a cold, a cough, or whatever because y'all the grind must go on whether we are sick or well y'all this one I was so excited when I got this one this was on my James Charles palette roast and we got a live one we got a angered a sister up in the comments like all caps angry angry buckle down this is gonna be a wild Right, I was, I was just, my mom was there and I was like, oh, I got one. Like you hear about it, you hear about his, his fans, his sisters, you know, going up on people's videos. And then I got one. I'm like, oh, it's real. It's real. He tried his hardest to make that palette and all you do is roast about it. What if someone did that to you, would be upset about it too, and your eyebrows are supposed to be longer than they are. Y'all, I do my makeup however I ding dang want. And since I have a voice, I'm going to use it in any way I want to. So am I. You are the rudest, most stupidest person I've ever watched a video on. You wish you would be just like James Charles. I actually wish that I could be anything but James Charles. If a fairy, if, if my fairy godmother came out of the woodwork and was like, Boop! I have turned you into James Charles. It would get, oh, it would be so ugly. You are just a wannabe person in this world and nobody cares in the way you want the palette to be like because they made it the way they thought it would look good in. Not for you to give your rude inputs, you blend your makeup in wrong because when he uses his palette, everything you say was not blending or was not right. It worked perfectly fine when he did it, so you're just lying to your viewers to get more fame, which does not work for the YouTube community. Aww. Are you sister sad? It very well could have been the way you went about doing your makeup that was the problem, lol. Now that was also on my James Charles palette roast and the thing is whenever I do a roast or even just a review I try to be very objective and I try to say it could be the way that I'm doing my makeup. I do my makeup in a very specific way and that may be counterintuitive to the way that a certain product is being used but you don't, I mean, I mean even then, 
said, I mean, my experience is my experience. Your delivery is way too dramatic and over the top. I supposed I stopped the video at 4.35. Sorry, I can't finish it. Like, like I said, what's the point? What? If I don't like a video, I click out. I don't even dislike. I just click out of it. I'm gone. I'm like, I don't need to spend my, like, who is this like, all right, I, I have so much negativity in my life. I have enough free time to take time out of my day to literally comment, to tell someone, a content creator, the specific minute and second time I clicked out of their video, like that is going to have some sort of significance to me. Don't you all have anything better to do? It's Another big one. I think this was on my The Fall of Kat Von D video. What's with the made it comments? Well, maybe if you watch the whole video till the end, you would know and not look like an idiot. That is what happens when people are fans of anything slash anyone. Fall for everybody without checking facts. One. She said she talked with her doctor and vaccinated her child. Good for her. Two, stop buying her products because she believes it's something you don't, you, you, are you that stupid? I mean, yeah, we're allowed to have opinions when there's someone who believes, see, for example, if we've got presidential candidates and one of them candidate candidates believes in something you don't, you don't vote for them. Like, not that complicated, sweetie. Three. People believe in everything you say like you have the truth. Yeah, you're fans. People brainless as you. And most are also fans of that travestite. I can't tell if this person is trying to call me a travesty or a transvestite. Either or, I could not care less. Oh boy, here's another really big and angry one. Fact. Question mark. You don't know her as anyone here, including me. But that is what I know of her. I admire her huge talent. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm already clicking out on this because if, if you can't capitalize your eyes, then I just, <laughs> Not anyone get where she is, spelled W-E-R-E. -E. Not any tattoo artist are really an artist. She is super talented, which I never called into question. Kat does amazing tattoos. She made a brand from herself. She is not perfect like everybody else. Most of you must be a little jealous because you know what I write is true already. I mean, I should have just done all of these in baby voices because that's what it sounds like. She is not talented because she sits in front of a camera to review stuff. Creative people did. What did you do? Nothing just opinions. And that's exactly what they are, just opinions. So what's the point in getting butt hurt over opinions? Please turn your volume down, you're way too loud. I understand I'm way too loud. Um, I've explained this multiple times before. If you don't like it, click out. With the horror that is your eye look right now, I wouldn't trust a word you say. Then don't. No one's bending your arm. No one's forcing you to. It's just I have opinions. You have opinions. Why do we all have to be so now? Why can't we be friends? And last but not least, get off the helium, sister. I lost a couple brain cells because someone called me sister. The only person who can call me sister are my brothers. Oh, there we have it. Reading my hate comments. Number two. Honestly, I hope there will be more hate comments in the future. Not because I necessarily want them, but because they make for good video content. And honestly, doing these videos are, is kind of satisfactory. It's just like kind of a therapeutic way to deal with the hate without like, you know, actually dealing with it. I always tell, I told my brother, I told my mom, I'm like, the only thing I want to do when someone leaves like a hate comment like, I don't even want to comment. I don't want to say anything. I just want to comment and leave the little, like, kissing heart face emoji. They're just like, oh, I hate you. You're horrible. And I'm just like, because that's literally how I feel. I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I really, I don't care. So definitely let me know down below which was your favorite hate comment, what you think about these, if you think they're right. I mean, I'm open to a different opinions despite you know, unlike these people. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah!